the World Health Organization is not in support of female genital mutilation. The World Health Organization is not in support of any health worker involved in female genital mutilation. Why? Because female genital mutilation, also known as female circumcision, is doing these ladies more harm than good. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today I'm going to be sharing with us five types, uh, the various types, that's four types, sorry. I'm going to be sharing with you the various types of female genital mutilation. For those that have not watched our video on female genital mutilation, um, what it is, um, the effect, the long-term effect and the short-term effect of female genital mutilation mutilation i'm going to be dropping the link in the description box below so you have access to it but today we're specifically going to be talking about the four types of female genital mutilation but before we go into the taste into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out to all my returning subscribers this is me this is me saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be talking about the various types of female genital mutilation which is popularly known as female circumcision for those that have not watched our video on what female genital mutilation is all about and also the long-term and the short-term effect, the long-term and the short-term damage, I'll call it, of female genital mutilation, I'm going to drop the link on the description box so you have access to it. So this video, like I said, is what? For the various types of female genital mutilation. The first one is the type 1 FGM, which is type 1 female genital mutilation. In type 1 female genital mutilation, there is partial or total removal of the clitoris. As a lady, I believe you know what a clitoris is. For those that have not been circumcised, you know what a clitoris is. That clitoris is an area for sexual stimulation. It helps to make sex sweeter. Let me put it that in quotes. So, when there is removal of this clitoris, it makes women see sex. Generally, female genital mutilation makes female see sex as painful. Makes, makes female see sex as something harmful instead of it to be pleasurable. So the type 1 specifically, they are removing. There's either a partial or a complete removal of the clitoris. You can see the, um, the picture showing on the screen below. Then the type 2 FGM, there's removal of the clitoris and also the labia minora they may remove the clitoris labia minora and and leave the labia majora or they might remove the clitoris labia minora and the labia majora you can see as a woman you have to flap after that clitoris you have to flap you have the big flap and you have the small flap for those that are not um for those that are are not circumcised so that big flap is the labia minora, while the other flap below it is the labia minora. So in type 2 FGM, they remove the, the big flap. They might remove the big flap, remove the, um, the small flap, which is the labia minora, and remove the clitoris. That's what type 2 female genital mutilation. Then that takes us to the type 3 female genital mutilation, which is also known as infibulation. This is really disgusting to me. Seriously, when I was reading about female genital mutilation and I saw this type 3, I was angry in my spirit. I didn't really know why. Do you know what's happening? It's infibulation. There's narrowing. There's sewing up of the vaginal opening. Haba. Why will you be closing that vaginal opening? There's narrowing. There's sewing up of the vaginal opening. And they are likely going to remove the labia minora, uh, the clitoris. They may remove the labia minora. They, may, they, they are sewing up. They are trying to narrow up the vagina. That's the type 3 FGM. And that is disastrous. You can't tell me that thing is causing more good. It's causing more harm than good to these ladies, than to these young children. Then the fourth one is a type 4 female genital mutilation. Type 4 female genital mutilation are all harmful procedures 
all harmful procedure outside these things that are listed that are done to the female for no medical reason so anything done to the female that are harmful for no medical reason and that destroy that area it's type forward type four female genital mutilation so those are the four types of um, female genital mutilation like i will repeat if you don't know what female genital mutilation is and you don't know the effect that's the danger the damage of female genital mutilation you can watch our video on fgl to have a full insight of what it looks like please and please i am speaking out on behalf of the young ladies out there i'm speaking out of i am speaking out on behalf of the unborn children that our mothers that our parents are planning to circumcise i'm speaking out on behalf let's say no to female genital mutilation female genital mutilation is not beneficial female genital mutilation is causing more harm than good female genital mutilation is disastrous we need to speak up please and please for those that are in the community setting try and help educate these women for health practitioners that are involved please and please don't do that please and please no matter how local your community is as far you are licensed as a nurse you are licensed as a health practitioner please it is against the law don't involve in female genital mutilation i see that as child abuse you are abusing that female child female genital mutilation is wrong female circumcision like you call it it's wrong this is me saying no to what saying no to female genital mutilation the girl child deserves to enjoy sex when they grow up the girl child deserve to enjoy sex and not feel pain and this hatred for sex this is me i otojagale osemeka mercenary i am saying no to what i am saying no to female genital mutilation thank you very much for staying and watching my video thank you very much for staying tuned don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value also don't forget to hit educate educate your community on the dangers of female genital mutilation if you are a nursing student and you are not part of our classes on telegram you are missing a lot like seriously all you have to do is to send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen so you have access to all our voice notes that helps you prepare for your nursing and midwifery counseling exam thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead bye